Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. So today we'll talk about indexing and how it works. So before getting to know about indexing, let's first understand why we need indexing. So suppose we have a SQL database and here I have represented a SQL database and suppose we are storing the values for an employee table. An employee table will have a ID, name, salary. So here I have added a like Tom, Peter, John, Smith, Frank, Lee information. So whenever we store the information, right? So basically when we store the information to the database, Base, it will go into the disk right and inside the disk there will be a blocks will be there right and inside the block the data will be stored in, in this block uh, it may be like uh, one block can contain the ID name salary uh, that's this full row or it can contain the multiple row within a single block and this block will have a uh, some address right that will actually contain the data right so for simplicity i assumed here is each row will having the one one blocks right so that's why i have given the separate separate address for each row it means one one block it will containing in the actual disk for each rows right so that's why i have given the different different address for each row so now we understood how the data is stored into the database and further in the depth how it is stored into the disk right now when we the user searches the query like select star from employee where id equal to 2 then what sql will do then SQL will first it will load the employee table into the main memory and from the main memory it will do the linear search from the top to the bottom so first it will compare the id having the employee id is 5 with the 2 it is matching no then it will go to the next it is comparing with the 6 with the 2 it is matching no then it will go to the next then it will go to the next and then it will go to the next and then it will compare with the 2 with the 2 it is matching then it will return the this particular row to the user right so this is how it's gonna work so what is the problem here everything works fine user is searching the query and it is getting the values right it is a small table right but suppose these rows are kind of a millions and billions kind of a row and if you do the linear search right it will take a time complexity of big o of n and this is uh, i think worst time right if you do the search query then it will take time five minute two minute if you have a bigger tables right this is the actual problem how we can improve the this search query for retrieving the particular data from the database to solve this problem we have to use the indexing so let's see how indexing works so indexing is a kind of a data structure so basically what it will have it will have a search query and the data reference this is the two field it contains and it is used to quickly retrieve the particular data from the database when we create the index uh, so it will improve the search query and it will uh, reduce the disk calls right to the database retrieval so it will create a one index table here i have created an employee table right so it, this is having the same content and again it is in the block address i have defined here so now what I have did here is I have created an index table here and to create an index table we have to define the columns for which column you wanted to create an index basically for the column where you wanted to uh, perform this search queries to make the index on that well you can call up the multiple columns also that is also possible but here we have used the ID column so whenever we store the values into the index it will be stored in the uh, sorted order employee ID column into the index table and the data reference will be stored for each row wherever the block are residing right this is the block address for employee id 5 so here it the block address will be copied so like that for each search key right for each employee id the data reference will be copied into the data ref field now we have a one more table right index table in the data base it will contain the extra storage so now when the user searches like select star from the employee where id equal to 2 then what will happen so in this time the employee actual data right employee table will not be loaded into the memory only the index table will be loaded into the memory and once the index table is loaded into the memory the SQL will perform the binary search so uh, we know how the binary search will perform so binary search will for try to search is the mid key and it will try to compare with the three with the two if the value is uh, kind of uh, lesser then it will discard the other part of the value 
right and again it will compare with the mid of the value so it will compare with the two with the two if it is matching then it what it will do it will check the data ref a pointer right where it the actual data is residing so it is residing on 0028 so where is 0028 so this is the place where data is residing right so it will pull up the data from here right and it will return it from here that particular data so this is how the query will be improved and indexing will work so when we use the binary search to search the elements right from the database so it will improve optimize the query and the time complexity will be log of n and this is a very good time complexity for the search queries and one more thing we have when we create an index right so there will be a search query and the data reference so it will not actually create a table inside the database and it will store the values it will be stored in a b trees right b tree it's a different another kind of a data structure let's first understand understand how this actual this index table will be stored into the b tree so this is not the actual table so for the simplicity i have created here the table to make you understand how the flow will work for indexing but let's first try to understand how the actual this index table will be represented into the b tree here we have a employee table right and here we have created an index on first id column of the employee right and uh, this when we create an index so this is how the data will be stored into the b tree but the root node will have a uh, two entry uh, two node key and the data ref field and in the left side the key which is having the lesser value like one or two will be pointed by this first node and whatever the key is having the greater than five will be pointed by the right node and whatever the in the between the mid the value will be pointed by by the mid ref right so like that the, this is a b tree kind of a data structure i'm not uh, telling you in very detail so basically it will have a kind of a n node if it in the root then n plus one node in will, it will be in the child right and whenever the search query will be performed it will be first come to the root and it will compare with the key and if it is a value is higher or smaller then it will uh, divert according to that so i hope we understood how the indexing work right and uh, how the indexing data will be stored uh, indexing is used to optimize the performance of a database right by minimizing the number of disk access when the query is processed we have a different kind of indexing as well like primary secondary a cluster non cluster and even in the primary we have a sparse and dense different kind of a way we have a to create the index and the index data to be stored right so here the index data is stored in the b tree right for we can also store the data into b plus tree or into the bitmap so we have a different kind of a storage mechanism also to store the index values and we have a different way to create the different type of indexing like primary in primary sparse dense secondary cluster non-cluster what i have discussed is it's kind of primary and inside the primary it's a type of a dense uh, we are storing the index data into the b tree so this is all about indexing so i hope you like the video please do subscribe my channel to get to know more about the system design topic from the basic still the advance.